What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 179 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. And this week is always a fan favorite, minimal and clean edition, so hope you're pumped. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start it off episode 179. First up, we have Me Like Water and Me Like Your Setup. Plus we got Dodge there, sitting underneath. Just chilling in this pretty chill setup. Got some plants behind the monitors in front of a big window for all that natural lighting and rocking the single ultra wide. So checking it out, that is a 38 inch ultra wide from LG, the 38UC99. And on both sides of that are his speakers, the Edifier S2000 Pro speakers. Into the rest of his setups, his keyboard is a custom printed one. We'll check out that in a minute with Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. But I love seeing DIY keyboards like this. It is a completely custom printed case. Got the SA grade keycaps with box jade switches inside and a matching macro pad or a numpad off to the right. Absolutely awesome. Love me some jade switches with those thick clicks. Then we have a really nice and compact ITX build off the left side of his setup. So tiny it's being dwarfed by the speakers even. And this is the Loke Ghost S1 case. Inside is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with the NZXT Kraken X52 AIO, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM on an ASRock Z390 Phantom ITX motherboard with an Asus RTX 2070 Strix OC graphics card. So all kept in there nice and tidy for a really small build. Killer job on that PC and all together a really nice job on the setup as a whole. I'm digging the very natural feel like I said before with the plants, the wooden desk, wooden speakers, the simple peripheral setup, and even things like the symmetry from the small case to the speakers to the speakers on the other side with the, the books. I don't know. I'm loving it. This is a good setup here. Next is Oscar and we actually had him on a few years ago. I believe it was like the first ever minimal and clean edition. He's back again and uh, showing off a nice monochrome kind of setup with the all black and white from top to bottom. Got those Nanoleaf Aurora light panels hanging up above the setup, uh, some black and white boards off to the left side being hung up, digging the simplicity all around here. So for his single ultra wide, he's rocking the Acer Predator X34A monitor, a top of the line option, especially for gaming. And off to the corner of the desk in the back, you can see those little light tubes. Those are the IKEA Spanced lights, wherever you want to say that. Um, they actually don't make them anymore, but I'm really digging these. These are uh, pretty cool, nice little tiny alternative for a lamp. Now checking out his peripherals, his keyboard is the Razer Black Widow Tournament V2 with the Razer Basculus mouse, seemingly set to like a light blue or like a white option for the LEDs. So again, sticking to that black and white color theme. And then in addition to his AirPods, his headset is the HyperX Cloud 2. Now checking out his PC, another one of those console size ITX builds, absolutely loving that we're seeing these more. This is the Fractal Node 202 and inside is an Intel i7-6700K CPU with the Scythe Big Shuriken Cooler. It is only 213 Shuriken, it's as much as chest x-ray. Got 32 gigs of Corsair LPX RAM on an Asus Z170i Pro motherboard with an MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X graphics card. All inside the console size case and it fits in with the setup well, the simplicity, the desk isn't too cluttered. And from the things from the light tubes to the light panels, the black and white decoration in those boards, it all fits and ties together perfectly. Then we have Mike with the dual setup, both extremely simple and minimal. Ah, ah, man, how do you achieve such modern look? Like, I don't know, man. Mike, can I have this? Can I be you, please? All right, so there's a lot to cover here, but we'll address his right setup first. This is his kind of workstation side, and this is actually being run off a MacBook Pro, which he has underneath that stand. The gaming one is off to the left, so checking this out, the single monitor is the LG 34UC88, so a nice 34 inch ultra wide. I'm loving that monitor riser, by the way. The speakers are the Audio Engine A2 Plus. And then for the rest of his peripherals, his keyboard is the Rama M60A. It's got Helio silent switches inside, they're lubed with the GMK Olivia keycap set. We've got the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse and the Native Union wireless charger tray up top so this is some uh, some serious gear i don't know how much you know about rama but this keyboard is amazing and uh 
yes. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, it's just yes. Everything here in this photo, yes. And now we'll take a look on the left side, which is his gaming setup. And I see a little Toronto poster. If you live in Toronto, I'm coming to your house, I'm crashing on the couch. But let's check this out now. For his monitor setup, it is a 25 inch from Alienware. Got that same kind of riser on this side of the desk as well. And into his gear for his headphones there on the hanger, the Sennheiser HD 800s. They're being powered by the Quest-style CMA400i amp and DAC. So speakers on the productivity side, headphones on the gaming side. Good choice. And then he has an Accent custom full aluminum 65% keyboard with these retooled MX black switches, have them lubed as well. It's got a brass plate, a polished steel weight, a custom cable, and the GMK Metaverse keycaps to go along with Logitech G703 mouse. So all black and white for the peripherals man and it doesn't end there it only gets better again we have the loke ghost s1 case inside here is an intel i9 9900k cpu with the noctua l12 cooler got 16 gigs of trident z ram on an asrock phantom motherboard with an rtx 2080 founders graphics card so again just loving how look at that build Look how clean that is for such a small case. ITX builds are like my new thing. I love them and I've inadvertently show off three in a row. I promise that wasn't planned. It's just, it's what's happening people. You know what else is happening? That's a couch right there I'm crashing on. But I think hands down one of my favorite setups of the year. Everything is just super clean, super modern, minimal from top to bottom. There isn't a single thing about this that I don't love. You even got the Herman Miller M body chair. Ah, oh, the plants, the natural lighting, the walnut accents. I love you. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Too far. Now, are you not entertained? Have you not pitched a tent, if you know what I'm saying? This is real, people. This is a real setup. This is a real episode on the best goddamn show out there. I said it. Thumbs up down below. This is the greatest episode of all time. So he has pretty much everything mounted. The monitors, the desk, the PC. It is all mounted to the wall for this floating appearance, which is just insane so both of those monitors are from dell the p2418d they're 23.8 inch displays even got the spanned wallpaper or maybe like you inverted once so they line up perfectly that's the dedication i'm talking about and for his peripherals going all wireless obviously with the gembird wireless slimline keyboard a microsoft wireless mouse 4000 the audio technica ath sr5 bt headphones mounted and also for like graphic design and stuff he's got his graphics tab Talent, graphics talent. He's probably talented. Graphics tablets, what I meant to say. The Huon WH1409. Then boom, for coding and web design and stuff, flip them vertically, and now you have a whole new monitor orientation. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any pics of just the uh, PC. I'll run through the specs real quick. It's the Zalman Z3 Plus case, and inside is an i7 8086 CPU with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM and a gigabyte RTX 2060 Windforce graphics card. So definitely good enough for gaming as well, covering all fields here. This is just insane. Like. Definitely one of the cleanest setups I've ever seen with it being just mounted and floating in every aspect. Then last but not least, we got Steedy adding some nice pops of color with that very vibrant wallpaper, keeping it all clean and minimal as you'd come to expect on this legendary episode. So for his primary monitor, it is the LG 27 UK 850. A real nice 4K panel and checking out some of his gear for audio with Logitech G560 light sync speakers and for his peripherals when he's just, you know, getting some work done, Apple Magic Keyboard 2 in the Apple Magic Mouse 2. However, when he's gaming, Corsair K55 with the Corsair M65 mouse, both $50 peripherals giving him some pretty solid options for 100 bucks total. And then checking out the PC, it's the Corsair Carbide 400C case. We have a Ryzen 1600 CPU with the Ndexi Kraken X62 AIO, 32 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB RAM, an Asus B350F Strix motherboard, and the Inno 3D 1070 
NZXT-X3 iChill GPU, that name is not chill, in addition to the NZXT Hue 2 lighting kit to add some color and stuff, but a real organized desktop. You got the laptop and a stand, the wireless peripheral, switch them out for gaming and stuff when you want, a simple light strip, and a nice natural wooden desktop. All right, guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 179 of Room Tour Project, the minimal and clean edition. Hope you enjoyed. If you saw anything you like, I'll have all the gear and hardware you saw listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you liked this episode, hope you did. Give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp as well as Instagram and pretty much everything else. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.